TCVD are some cool ways that we're using our Intel RailSense technology to get people into games and kind of create a more immersive experience. Uh, we are using the rear-facing Intel RailSense R200 camera on this HP Spectre tablet over here. The ITSY's 3D app is being used for scanning. It's free for non-commercial use. And then the Uranium app will let you take that OBJ file that's created by ITSY's 3D and put it into a number of games. Uh, we have Fallout 4, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto, FIFA 15, Arma 3, and CSGO support is coming really, really soon. Outside of Uranium, you could take a scan of yourself. You could make a 3D printed army of yourself of tiny little versions. You could make a chess set. Um, as a game developer, you may be interested in using the OBJ for your personal projects, and you're certainly welcome to put them into your own games, maybe animate them. I think it's incredibly easy. Um, if you were to do this yourself, you would have to take the OBJ. You would have to track down the code and the community supported tools to turn that into a NIF format, which is relatively recently been reverse engineered, but there's a different format for each Fallout game. And you have to, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. It's really, really a pain in the butt. Just trust me, I could tell you all about this process. Uranium is awesome. We give you a zip file with the OBJ. You install the, the zip file, it shows you your face. You choose which game you want to put it in. Put your face on the character. So in the case of Fallout 4, it'll show your head on top of a vault suit. Um, it'll give you a few options for adjusting the color, like brightness, contrast, and positioning, because every scan is a little bit different. Um, and then you just hit install, it installs into the game. The game can hold one male and one female custom character at a time. Uh, to enable the, your face, there's just two console commands that are super easy to use. Uh, for getting a good scan, if you have seen uh, me doing the scan, you saw that I had a light on the back of the tablet. The light is pretty key to be able to get a good scan. Um, I think there's a lot of potential with this technology to be, like, create NPCs, create player characters. Obviously, the ITZY 3D itself isn't going to animate it, but you probably have your own armature and your own everything that you're using to put that all together. I'm excited about the prospect of scanning objects and putting them in as game assets. Um, ITZY's 3D for RealSense does not currently have that capability, but there's several other software that you can download to scan objects and the tracking on those is getting better and better all the time. One thing that I'm trying to do, and this may take me five years to learn how to do this because I'm a little slow in the 3D modeling department, uh, just because I don't have a lot of free time, it takes time to learn that. Uh, I'm trying to get a bunch of scans of my dog and put them together and rig them to the dog meat skeleton. I have like a custom dog meat. He's about this tall, so and he's a dachshund mix, so I think on Nexus Mods it'd be funny to call it immersive dox meat. 